Coming to you from the high desert of Southern California, Red Bench Reviews brings you today's sesh with John. Grab a joint, load your bong, or pack your pipe, and let's get this sesh started. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the sesh. My name is John, and I'll be your host as we continue the search for the holy grail of herb. Well, my friends, I'm so glad that you are here. I am glad to be here. It's been too long of a break from doing reviews, and it's something that I've missed a lot. Let me talk to you about a, a strain that's very near and dear to my heart. Let's talk about Sour Diesel. That's this week's strain is Sour Diesel. This is a strain that comes from the 1990s. That's when it was first developed. And it has come down over the time, over the years. And I find that it is basically unchanged for the last 20 years that I've been smoking it. I, I've come across sour diesel a number of times. And it is, it is one of those strains that when I go to a, a dispensary, I look on the menu and I go sour diesel. If I see sour diesel, I, there's a good chance that I'm going to pick some up because I want to try it. I Because if you come across some good sour diesel, you are in for a treat. So I'm going to tell you about a little treat that I picked up. I'm really excited to tell you about this. I picked up an ounce of sour diesel this last week from a brand called 8-Track. I bought this at the micro buttery down in D Desert Hot Springs. We call that Desert Pot Springs. It is a very marijuana friendly town. They, they are very happy to have lots of dispensaries. A lot of major manufacturers and producers and distributors of cannabis, a lot of their brands have warehouses in the Desert Hot Springs area. It is very pot friendly as opposed to up here at Joshua Tree. In Joshua Tree, we don't have one dispensary. I mean, when it comes to your mind, when you think of a desert community, don't you, th in California, don't you think we would have dispensaries? Well, we don't have dispensaries. We, we have to buy our herb elsewhere. We live in San Bernardino County and the San Bernardino County tends to be a little more conservative than the Riverside County. Riverside County is where Desert Hot Springs is. So anyways, that's a big digression to tell you that I bought this week's herb from Micro Buttery down in Desert Hot Springs. Okay, that's that's the short story. When when you order an ounce of 8-track herb from Micro Buttery, it comes to you in a Mylar bag, in a clear Mylar bag with a reflective little back. And it's got a little label on the front that says 8-track cannabis, sour diesel, THC 35.5%. Let me just let that sink in for a second. That's THC 35.5%. I, I like herbs that have really high THC levels, but I, I also am very aware of the fact that THC levels are not the whole story when it comes to an herb. You can't just like go, oh, 35.5, I'm gonna get knocked on my butt because that might not necessarily happen. It, there are terpenes and other cannabinoids that are involved in the process. And because of that, 35.5% not, not be quite like that, that amazing. Well, that's not the case in this one. This one, I've been smoking it from my spoon pipe for the last couple days. And I gotta tell you that it is all that. Once I bought the herb from Micro Buttery I, and opened the Mylar bag, I immediately put it into mason jars. And so I've got a mason jar here in front of me that is full of about, oh, about two thirds of an ounce of herb. And let's just, let's just open this up and let's give this a smell. Mmm, oh. I love, there's, is, is there anything better than just when, when you got a nice jar of herb, then to open it up and just give it, just give it a smell. I, I do that. I just walk by my tray where I have it sitting in the house here and I'll just pick up one of the jars and I'll just open it up and I'll just smell it just cause it just smells so good. This one. Okay. It's got a sweet, 
sweet, sweet kind of smell to it, but not strongly sweet. It's it's got a bit of a lemon zest kind of smell to it. It's got the deep earthy forest going on. It's a very dank smelling. I wish I wish you could smell this. I you would you'd be in heaven just like I am right at this particular moment. I just keep putting my nose down into the jar. Okay, we're to, uh, as I put my nose down into the jar. What am I looking at? I'm looking at nugs that are gram to two gram size. They are medium green. And you can see little hairs, little hairs there. I took some close-ups of these the other day. I'm, I'm closing the jar back up here. I took some close-ups of these the other day. And uh, wow, the trichomes on these are just really beautiful, really amazing. The, the, the ounce contained, I would say about two thirds of the ounce was small popcorn buds. And about a third of the ounce was had these big two two gram buds in them. Okay. Well, oh, here's another note. When I cut this up, you know, I I cut up my herb with scissors, and you might have seen in my YouTube videos, I cut up my herb with scissors. And when I cut this one up, it not only is it dense and thick, like cutting up a you know, uh, like medium thick caramel. Oh my, I love caramels, but it's like cutting up a caramel. It's a, it's got a, it's really thick to cut through it. And when you cut it through, it doesn't break apart. It breaks down into littler nugs and then littler nugs and then littler nugs and then littler nugs <laughs> until you finally have got it broken down enough that you can put it in your pipe. If you were going to smoke a joint of this, I would definitely recommend using your, your grinder because this is not going to break down with scissors for a joint very well. But I use a pipe, so that is just fine with me. I've been talking and you know what we need to do? We need to have a smoke here. So let's, let's grab my bong. Let's grab my grab my grav bong. I use a, a bong that's from, you might have seen it in my YouTube videos. I use a Grav wide base bong, uh, smoky colored. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it, I'm getting a little distracted. I'm kind of looking at it and going, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful piece of glass this thing is. It's, I've, I've done every review, I've, I've smoked from my bong. And it, it gives me a baseline idea when I'm doing reviews because every, well, because every review I've used this particular piece of glass. All right, let's have ourselves a smoke. All right, Sour Diesel from 8-Track. is a smooth, smooth smoke. Oh my gosh, I, I haven't used my bong in a little bit here. And I'm just sitting here as I blew that out, I was like going, and why don't you use your bong more often, John? <laughs> oh my. <coughs> Talking to myself. Anyways, wow, that was a really delicious hit. The flavor of that, very danky and earthy and marijuana-y, if you know what I mean. When you just think of the classic flavor of marijuana, this one has got it. I'm diving in right straight into a second hit here. Got to remember to hold that in for three seconds at least. That is the three second rule. It takes about three seconds for all of the THC that's in the smoke to get in 
absorbed by your lungs. It then takes about 40 seconds for that to get into your bloodstream. So within about 40 seconds after you've taken that first hit, you're starting to feel it. And unless it's a creeper, some strains are creepers. This one is not. This one I can feel right away coming at me. <laughs> oh my, I am looking forward to this one. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little break. It takes me about 10 minutes for me to fully feel the effects and really digest what I'm experiencing. So let's take a break for 10 minutes. Well, for you, it'll just be a minute or just a second, but let's take a break and I'll be back and I'll tell you how this, how this strain is hitting me. 10 minutes later. Well, that was a very, very nice 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. I have what I would call a solid sativa buzz going on right now. And when, when I, what do I mean by that? I mean that my brain has been buzzing with ideas, with thoughts and ideas. And that's what a, a good sativa will do. It'll give you an uplift. Sometimes, you know, I've had sativas that are like a cup of coffee. This one is not quite like a cup of coffee uplift. This is a more of a you know, it, what it is, is it's just thinking about it just now is it really is that it feels like the burdens have dropped off. Anything that was holding me down definitely feels like it's kind of dropped off and I'm able to stand up straight. I feel like my, my lungs are clear breathing, a very deep breathing feeling, you know, like I can finally take a breath. Yeah. You know, and, and it's like all the fuzzy thinking that's off the, on the edge of my brain has kind of been sheared off. And now my mind is all sharpened and focused and ready to, ready to do anything that I would like to do. It's very relaxed indeed, very relaxed indeed. And, but it's not that Indica kind of like put you back on the sofa, put you back in the couch, lock you there for a while. This is not that kind of feeling. This is an alert kind of relaxed, not a tired relaxed at all. It, this is definitely one that you perks up your thinking. I really, really like this high. It is really good from the bong. Let me tell you, having smoked this about Oh, about a dozen times from my, from my pipe, the bong is like, you know, the pipe, if a pipe is like a hundred percent experience, this is like 140% experience. It's just like, <laughs> this ours, ours goes to 11. <laughs> oh my. This is a strain that I've, I've, one of the things I've experienced over the last couple of days is I don't wake and bake that often. But when I do, if I've got some sour diesel, I am very inclined to wake and bake. I, I'm a two cup of coffee guy in the morning. And after my first cup of coffee, I like to, I like to pack a bowl if, I've, if I'm going to wake and bake. I like to pack a bowl and smoke it and then have my second cup of coffee. I, I have been crazy about this. The last couple of days, I've just like been so much enjoying the feel of this one because it's it kick starts the day you know it kind of gets me going whereas like it all all the sleepiness you know from the coffee and the combination of the coffee and the herb kind of pushes all the sleepiness aside and gets me focused on the days and i've had a lot to do a very very busy work schedule and so I think I get more done because I'm smoking sour diesel. Anyways, yeah, it's true. I think I'm getting more done because I'm smoking the sour diesel in the morning. You know, that's just the way it is. All right. Well, all that talk about smoking makes me want to take one last hit. You know, during that 10 minute break, I, I think I took like four or five hits. I got just a little bit left in my bong. So let's take a last hit here of this. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Mm. Uh, gosh, that's good. You know, it's it's so danky and so you know so dank and 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 rich. I think there's a hint of chocolate in there. Wow, the flavor is just like it just it hits all the bottom notes, all the base notes, all in in your mouth. It just ah. Uh, anyways, it's one of the things that I consider highlights of my life is is taking hits like that and just savoring them and just like letting the herb just pop on my synapses. I love it. <coughs> Anyways, so <laughs> sorry I was drifting off there, you know, in a pleasant revelry about this herb. <laughs> Let's get back to back to the review. Um, I'm going to call this one a 4.5 out of the 1 to 5 scale which we are calling the Holy Grail scale. This gets a 4.5 on that. And on my scale, a four is excellent. And this 4.5 is beyond excellent. This is, I give this to strains that, that really hit me in a, in a way. That if it's above a four, that means I'll, I'll buy it again. Okay, that's really basically what it is. If it's not, if it's not above a four, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it once, and I don't know if I'll even finish the eighth. You know, it's a very good chance that that eighth is just gonna sit around and stare at me every time I go to grab something like the sour diesel. I think we have determined that this is a good wake and bake strain, a top quality sativa. You know, this is of all the sativas out there, I'd say that this is my favorite sativa. And as an indica lover, I'd rather smoke. A good sour diesel like this than most indicas, I'll tell you. This, this is what I look for in a sativa. No, this is what I look for in an indica, but it happens to be in a sativa. Anyways, <laughs> if that makes sense to you. I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. We just started this podcast and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'd like to remind people as my mouth is turning very dry from this one. Oh, let me just throw in a mention here. One thing I've noticed over the last couple of days is this is a heavy munchy pot. <laughs> if you get the munchies, even if you don't get the munchies, this one is likely to give you the munchies. I've, I, I smoke this and it's like immediately my stomach goes, John, you are hungry. <laughs> and so yours probably won't say John, but you know, you'll probably have the same kind of experience of your stomach talking at you and saying, you know, it's feed me, feed me. Anyways, this podcast is available wherever you listen to podcasts and we have new episodes that will be coming out each Wednesday. Please subscribe wherever you listen to your podcast and share it with your friends. And until next week, best of health.